John Goff made his first fortune more than a decade ago, teaming up with his mentor, legendary investor Richard Rainwater, to buy up empty, see-through, office buildings for pennies on the dollar in the wake of the S&L crisis that began in the late 1980s. They went on to sell Crescent Real Estate for $6.5 billion at the 2007 peak and then scooped it up again a few years later at a discount amid the wreckage of the financial crisis. Goff, based in Fort Worth, Texas, is now chairman of $3.4 billion Assets Crescent, and personally owns the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Dallas and the Canyon Ranch Spa chain founded in Tucson, Arizona. He still loves high-end real estate, but today he's focused on what he calls, the single biggest opportunity of my business career, oil. It's a contrarian move, all right. Watch the financial headlines and you'd think the end of oil was nigh. Last April, oil prices went to less than zero for a day as crude in storage reached, tank tops. America's frackers have mothballed 60% of their drilling rigs in the past 18 months, while more than 100,000 have lost their jobs amid the bankruptcies of 46 producing companies, including the one-time shale champion of them all, Oklahoma City-based Chesapeake Energy. The plight of the American oil patch, Goff says, is like real estate in the early 90s. They had overbuilt, doubled the office space and were woefully overleveraged. Back in 2008, when oil hit a record high of $147 a barrel, and big oil made up 15% of the S&P 500, all the talk was of peak oil supply. Today oil trades at $53 and makes up just 2% of the index, and market watchers are pushing the idea that we've already passed peak oil demand. Goff, 65, laughs at such forecasts. Before the world does not need any more oil, we will suffer a shortage, he predicts. The world may be burning nearly 10% less oil than the pre-pandemic 101 million barrels per day. But, he says, don't mistake COVID-related weakness for a secular shift. Goff reasons that electric vehicles are still just a blip. I think there's tremendous pent-up, consumer, demand. People are really tired, he says, adding that workers want to get back to their offices. Oil and gas is going to come back with a vengeance. Already, in Brazil, petroleum demand is above pre-coronavirus levels. So this vulture has been circling, fully convinced that with the right assets, capital structures and incentive plans, oil companies can thrive. We're buying reserves in the ground at a big discount, Goff boasts. His primary platform is publicly traded Contango Oil and Gas, of which he owns 24%. Goff oversees the holding company as chairman, Acolyte Wilkie Collier Jr., 36, serves as CEO. In October 2019 they snapped up 160,000 acres of prime fracking land in Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle for $23 million.